Hey, welcome back to the uh, DDK CAD Technology Systems Composite Panel Builder Software Demonstration Series. And in this session, what we want to talk about is the Optimizer Utility, which is available uh, for those who don't have an Optimizer built into their Panel Builder or CNC software. So to get started, uh, I already set the drawing up. I, I took an elevation view of some panels converted those into flat panel designs and in the normal process what we do is we stage uh, typical panels with a container or a title sheet that tells uh, you know the type of material and and all the information about the panel so the shop will have something to hold in their hand while they uh, do measurements and stuff on the panels coming off the CNC well in this um, scenario what we want to do is create a control label and then the cut sheet based on the size uh, that we predetermine will be filled with uh, the panels from below. So to get started what I'd like to do is take these panels that I've already built and sort them by color and uh, currently I'm using two different colors and what I do is I select them all then I pick a location and I'll pick it up here and it, it arranges the panels by by number and then the second row is, is the color, the different color. So we have a red, uh, we only have five panels that are red and probably about 45 panels that are uh, mica clear. So the next step, what we want to do is run the optimized sheet fill. And that's right here in our uh, customized or miscellaneous commands. And it's prompting me to select the flat panels. So uh, I'll take this row at the top because those are all the same color. And inside this dialog, we have uh, margins around the, the uh, edges of the panel. So if you want to stay uh, so far in off the edge of the, the cut sheet, you can set the uh, margin here. And then we have margins between the panels, so you don't want panels uh, buttoned up too close to each other. This max number is just used to give us a distance from the top edge of the panel where maybe we want to, uh, if the smaller this number, the less panels will be able to fill on the second row up. So this would leave a gap at the top of your panels so that you could uh, run some spline pieces off of there or not. But I have it set to about 40 inches, so it's going to try to fill up the best it can. Um, the other uh, are just basically the spacing between um, the control labels. W one of the things we can do is we can actually use a, um, a list of materials from an old job like scrap material and we can go get the file uh, which would be like an exported file I'll show you what the format looks like it it's basically the the name of the uh, program that you want to run the quantity the sheet sizes uh, height and width and then the color and this would all come out of an Excel file so if we ran this one uh, the first two panels would be odd and then the next uh, series would be okay they'd be all the same so let's let's do that let's run these and i'm going to fill the sheets and i'm going to pick a spot but right here and what it did it used the first it's still building it used the first uh, size that we set up in that in that uh, file and it was 62 by 86 so it could fit two panels in there and at 69 percent or 69 half percent then it went to the second one and filled it the best it could and it filled up about 75 percent and then the third sheet it ran uh, yeah did pretty good here too 77 and the fourth sheet there we go you know so and on and on and on and then we have some leftovers so I can see that right now that this this one would actually would have fit up here. Um, so you do have some toys that you can use to play games like um, these are the toys. Like I can take um, the top left of this this sheet here, and I'm going to take the the bottom of this one, and then I'm going to stack it right on top of it like that. So we have tools here to manipulate uh, if you didn't get the best fill that you could possibly get then you can still manipulate some of the leftovers there you go so and then eventually we'll probably be able to find a home for these guys but it doesn't look good but we could stack these on top of um, each other to get a better 
uh, fill here. So, I mean, there's toys the and I call them toys because I write them, <laughs> but um, we can just, you know, stack them up like that and then work it out. So that's how easy it is to create. Now let's go ahead and let's send AO4 to the PDF file. So up in the DXF utility, we could set it to PDF and then we could set our plot settings in here. Um, of course, it has to be the drawing to PDF in AutoCAD. We can do a window or display. Let's do a window. Um, no, okay, yeah, let's do a window and the other settings are good. This is where it's going to end up in our uh, folder. So we'll save those settings and we'll pick uh, I think it was a 04 let's go a 04 and let's go ahead and export that and there's a 04 the sheet that would go out uh, but if you wanted it to go out with more detail or so that the shop can read this we can set set it up and just say hey send a 04 out as a PDF file this time uh, we want to do a display and then export it and this time your PDF file will include that and of course inside your plot settings you can set margins in here to get the maximum fill but uh, this is just a, a quick way of getting your your output so and the same would be with the DXF and the drawing files so the optimizer is a quick way of sorting your panels and uh, you could just use the same size sheet uh, even though I have already sorted these and done it, I can do it again and change the parameters. And that's that's done by you know pulling up the utility again, optimize the sheet fill, window the this, and then say um, I don't want to use the I want to use uh, uh, this size sheet for all of them. And I can start with let's say uh, S dash O one. That's my program number. Uh, Let's, let's make it look good s dash 01 and then we'll run uh, the sheet fill here and now all of them will be filled in and I, I think we get a better have we still got this guy hanging out but, but you get the drift of how to optimize and if these weren't already grain oriented the program would actually try to flip it to see if it had a better fit as a flip panel so to recap the composite panel builder optimizer will let you take existing flat panel designs and sort them out and put them into a cut sheet